Hello everyone and welcome back to my second shop my stash video. If you saw the first one you would know that I have decided to push these to every two weeks instead of every week because there wasn't one up yes last week and that's just what's going to work best for me. So I'm going to start by taking you through products in this week and tell you what I thought of them and then I'm going to take you through my collection and we're going to pick out this week's or the next two weeks makeup. Now I'm going to start with the primer drawer. I have these for makeup maker. It's the prep spray and the setting spray and I like these ones a lot. But I am going to uh, put them back because I have been using them a lot this week and I kind of know uh, how I feel about them. I'm planning on doing a Makeup Mecca video purely dedicated to Makeup Mecca products. But I'm waiting on a couple more in the mail before that video is getting filmed but so far these are amazing. This is probably the one I got to use the least this month, month this <laughs> last two weeks. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I had this with the intention of using it with the Fenty Foundation because the Fenty Foundation needs a really moisturising base. But I quickly learned that this doesn't work with the Fenty foundation. Uh, it just makes it slip and slide around and goes on really, really patchy and uneven. So I am going to keep this in here because I do want to try it with a couple more foundations. And I'm going to bring in my current Project Pan products as well. And I think this might work really great with some of those. So I'm going to keep that in here to be playing with. This is one I brought in um, last week, uh, even though I didn't film because I brought in only like three or four more products. This is my favourite primer, I did repurchase this which is why it's in here and this works really great with the Fenty foundation. But as I said, it's my favourite, I know how it works, I know how it performs, I'm going to put it back but um, I kind of made the thing that if there are any products that I'm trying out foundation or concealer wise that aren't working with any of the primers that I currently have in my drawer, I will pick out some of my favourite ones just so I can continue trying them out and seeing how they perform. Moving on to the foundation drawer. I tried the Fenty Beauty foundation and I have a love-hate relationship with this one. After a couple of hours of wear, it looks fantastic. It looks really skin-like, it has a decent coverage, but my problem is this tends to go on quite patchy and it dries down really quickly, so I struggle blending concealer with this. I've been using it with the Colourpop concealer and I'm fairly certain those two don't mix at all. Um, but I do like this one, but I have a couple more foundations that I do want to try out, so I'm going to put this back for a little bit. I have the shade 100. I'm going to start with the two colour pop ones, because I have the ones in the shade Fair Zero Two, which is the white one, and Fair Zero Two. The Fair Zero Two is pretty much my exact shade match, but I ran into the problem with the Fenty foundation that this doesn't work well with it. It goes patchy, it goes a bit odd around my eyes and I can't blend it around so I am a bit unsure about this one still. It doesn't oxidise which was my problem with the first round of foundations that they came out with but I also don't love the coverage of this. I don't find that it is full coverage enough for what I want. I am going to keep this one in here because I do want to try it out with a different foundation see if that will maybe make it work a bit better because uh, so far I have very mixed feelings about these because it can look good but I also struggle with the application. For the white one I'm also going to bring in the Kat Von D one. I haven't actually tried these ones at all. I was planning on trying them today, today's Sunday that I'm filming this just to see but I have swatched and tested and the Kat Von D seems a bit more opaque and a bit thicker in consistency than the Colourpop ones but since I haven't tried them and I do want to I'm going to keep them in here to play around with. Then I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer or Correcting Fluid in the shade Green as well as my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Extra Light Bisque. I've hit pan on the Bobbi Brown one and this is one, oh my gosh I can't hold this. This is a product I'm aiming to finish up this year so I am going to keep this one in here. Same with this one, it's a product that I really like and that I do want to use up this year because I've had it for a little bit. And if I don't work through my products, they're going to go bad. So I'm going to keep this one in here as well. I might end up moving my correctors and stuff into the primer drawer because I apply them before I do foundations and just after primer. So they just might fit a bit better in that drawer, but we'll see. For the powder drawers here, I have my number seven blush in Apricot Blossom. I like this one a lot. It is a really pretty peachy shade. It looks a bit darker on camera than it does because I'm in the corner of my room with the least light and I can't bring my ring light up close but I like the colour a lot, there is the best visual of it that you can see. I find that this is super pretty, super easy to work with and I am going to put this back because I do like this one a lot and I want to get some uses out of the other stuff I have. My two powders, the It Cosmetics by by Pores Pressed and Loose. I am unsure about these ones. These don't work with the Fenty foundation at all because I don't really need to set that foundation because it ends up looking too dry. But I have used these and they do 
a great job at mattifying the foundation and setting it down but they make it really difficult to blend any other product over the top like they blur the pores at least on my skin which is I suppose what they're gonna do but blending blush bronzer and highlighter over the top is a nightmare because I have to layer it and it still looks patchy and uneven so I'm unsure about these ones I'm gonna put them back as there are some other products I want to work through but I will keep playing with them to see Maybe there is a different foundation I can get them to work with. This is the pressed version and the loose one is the same. For highlighter, I picked up my Makeup Mecca um, Baked Highlighter in Halo Me. And this is just how it looks. It's super pretty. It's a pink uh, toned highlighter. So I do think it's really flattering on pale skin. It's super pretty. It's not the bl most blinding of highlights and it doesn't emphasise texture, which is good. But I don't really reach for pink toned highlights all that great. All that great. I don't really reach for pink tone highlights all that much, so this is just one that I don't think I will reach for all too much. But it's a very pale shade, and it works great on my pale skin. You can't even really see it up there. Um, but I'm gonna put this back because I have some more highlighters that I do want to play with. For bronzer, I picked up my Bourjois powder bronzer, the Delice de Poudre bronzing powder. I butchered that completely in the shade 51. I'm really sorry. It's the one that looks and smells like chocolates. I like this one a lot. It works really great with my skin tone. But again, I have other products I want to work my way through. So I am going to put this one back for a little bit. Same with this palette from Makeup Mecca The Glow Like Me. I end up putting most of the things back that I have used. But this is a beautiful face palette. I like this one a lot. Um, this is the only one I can wear as a highlighter. That is a beautiful bronzer. And for these two, this is one I wear as a blush topper. Because it's peachy with a lot of gold sheen to it so I think it just looks super pretty on the skin and this one I use as a blush and I layer this one over the top and I think that creates a beautiful finish the powders are really soft, they're easy to blend, easy to work with and I do like this one a lot this is another product I pulled in last week and this is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette now I have smashed two of the shades in here but I am working on this one in my 10 at a time project pan my goal is to finish this one up completely and as you can see I have a, made a pretty big dent in the centre one. I use this as a highlighter, this one as a bronzer and this one as an eyeshadow or mixed with the centre one as a highlighter. I like these powders a lot so I'm going to keep this in here until it's done. For the little eye section here I'm going to take out the Smashbox palette and I'm going to put that back in my collection because I have used this and I absolutely love the shades. I find that they are super easy to work with. Very pigmented, easy to blend, and I think they look beautiful on the eyes. They also last a really long time on my eyes, which is good. I'm going to take out my e.l.f. one. I don't really love this, because um, I find that it is a bit patchy when you're applying it, so I have to top it off with an eyeshadow. But it is super pretty, so I do want to finish this one, just not now. I'm also going to take out my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I like this one a lot, but there is a different primer that is currently in my project pan that I want to finish first, so I'm going to put this back. And then the last three, which are two of my Colourpop shadows, I have the shade Glow, which is just a white, um, like an off-white colour. As well as this shade Cornelius. Both of them are, the Glow one is in my current project pan, but I'm aiming to finish both of them these years. <laughs> both of these this year, so I'm going to keep them. And I have my MAC eyeshadow in the shade Wedge, which I have very little product left, I have just a tiny bit around the edge there and this is one I want to finish as well. Then for the lip drawer, this is my Urban Decay lipstick in 1993. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown. Wore this, love this, I'm going to put it back for a little bit. Same with my Fenty Stun Lip Paint. This is amazing. I wore this yesterday and I absolutely love it. But I am going to put it back as I have now tried it and I want to try something else. This is the only product in here that I haven't tried, but I have used this in the past. So I am going to keep this in here because I do want to get some use out of it. But it's the only lip product in here that I'm going to keep. I'm also going to take these ones out. These are the two um, Fenty Matte Micelle lipsticks. I have Freckle Fiesta as well as Single. So I have Single here, which is just more of a neutral, slightly warm brown or nude shade and Freckle Fiesta is a lot more orange and I do like these ones a lot. And the last one here is from Wonder Two, it's the Wonder Kiss Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Nude and this is beautiful. I have this one which is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, I like this. This was put in because I finished my L'Oreal one and I need a new one so this is going to go back for a bit because I have one that I want to use up instead. Same with this Makeup Mecca Brow Pomade in the shade Medium. It's a very very good pomade and I do like this one a lot. 
But I have a pomade in my current project pan that I want to finish up first, so I'm going to put this one back for a bit. Two um, eye pencils here, I have my Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in Mr. Bing, as well as the Makeup Mecca one in white. I am going to put both of these back because I've used these ones a lot, and I'm going to try and bring something new in. Then for my two mascaras, I have my Tarte Lights Camera Splashes, which is my all-time favourite and the NYX Worth the Hype, which is new to me. I have used this once um, without this one. Um, and I don't like it on its own, but I use I layered this one a couple of days ago and I really like the effect. So I'm going to keep these two in here because I am giving myself one more month to use this one up because it's been open for so long. And I also want to see if I like this one layered and I need some more time to test that out. So these are going to stay. Now let's shop my stash. So my first row is my primer powder and setting spray. And for primers, I've brought out my NYX Hydro Touch Primer because I have actually not used this one and I want to try it. And I also brought out both of my Becca minis. I have the backlight priming filter and the fast light priming filter. I haven't used these much and I do still want to make an opinion on them, so I'm going to put them in here. For setting spray, I am going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is going to be rotated and into my project pan eventually, because I don't really like it, so I do want to get some use out of it. And for powders, I have my Makeup Mecca um, Matte On The Go Baked Powder in Transparent. I have used this before and I like it, but I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet, so I do want to play with this some more. And then I have my Fenty Beauty Blotting Powder that I have not yet used, so I do want to give that a go as well. I'm also going to bring in my loose powder. This is in my current project pan, and this is how much I've used of it left. I have about half of the container, and I do want to finish this this year, so that's going to go in here as well. For foundations, I am going to use this one, my L'Oreal True Match in 1W. So my project pan, I have currently got from the little black line and down much product left, so I'm gonna finish this one. And I have two stick foundations here. The other same foundation, it's from Makeup Maca. It's the Perfecting Smooth, Perfecting Smooth Stick Foundation. I have the shade Natural Fair, as well as Porcelain. Porcelain is pale enough for me, but a bit too yellow, and Natural Fair is a bit too dark, but I do want to try them, because I found they, are, they behave a bit differently, which I found a bit odd, so I am gonna use them and try them this, these weeks to see if they are the same, it's just, they felt a bit odd last time I put them on, they didn't feel like the same product. Since I have my Eye Gloss palette and I use the darkest shade in there as a bronzer, I'm only going to bring in blush and highlighter from that drawer. So I'm going to bring in my NYC Colour Wheel in the shade Pink Cheek Glow. I do like this one a lot. And then I'm going to bring in my new Becca Light Chaser highlights, because these I have not yet used on my face. I have Pearl Flashes Gold, as well as Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. So Rose Quartz, it's a pink one and I find it really, really stunning. Pearl Flashes Gold is um, like a white gold, and I think this is gonna work really great as well. For my eye primer, I'm gonna bring in my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is my Project Pan Primer at the moment, and I have, you can see I've hit pan on this one, so I do wanna finish this. And along with the three eyeshadows, I'm gonna bring in two palettes. I'm gonna bring in my Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Trio. I do like this one a lot. And then I want to keep playing white with my Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita quad, and this is stunning. So I wanna play some more with this one this week. For my lip drawer, along with keeping this sleek one in here, I've picked out nine more, so there's gonna be 10. I picked out my Nix Off My Lip Cream. This is in the shade Miami, and I do uh, like the look of this, so I do wanna that one. I also picked out a NYX um, lingerie liquid lipstick. I haven't actually used this one. This is in the shade Beauty Mark. So I'm excited to try them because I have never tried one of those um, NYX lingerie lipsticks before. I also picked out a Tonya Burr. I think this is the liquid lipsticks. No, it's a lip gloss in the shade Pink Fondant. Really pretty nude, so I'm excited to try that. Picked out a e.l.f. matte lip colour. This is in the shade Tea Rose and it's just a beautiful um, cool toned mauve colour I think. I don't know how to describe colours very well. Picked out my favourite new liquid lipsticks. This is Aquarius from Colourpop. I think this is in the Ultra Satin. It's the one just named Aquarius. Another gloss here from Casual. It's the Lip Shimmer. I have no idea the colour, the name or where you can find this. This is just in my collection and I do want to use it up so I'm going to keep that one in here. Sorry for making such a loud noise there. I have two lipsticks from NYX. I have the matte lipstick in the shade Natural as well as the butter lipstick in Sweetheart. I don't reach for any of these uh, enough but I do want to try and get some more use out of them so they're going to go in here. The last one is a matte lipstick in the shade um, Capricious and I do like this one a lot. For my eyeliners um, this week I have picked up three. Two from Makeup Mecca. I have a brown and a purple one. 
the numbers are not on here so I will leave them in the description box below. I also picked up this one from number seven. It's the Stay Perfect Amazing Ice Pencil in a beige kind of colour. I can't find the name of the pencil anywhere but it's this kind of beigey gold so I'm excited to try that one. And for my brows, my Project Pan product is my next tinted brow pomade in blonde. This always happens to me. I've made good progress on this one. I've almost hit pan. So I want to use that one up because it is drying out on me. And for my brow gel, I just picked out my Revlon Brow Fantasy in the shade Blonde. I like the brow gel. I may also be able to get some use out of the pencil side. This is me from the future, but I'm going to insert it right before the ending because I forgot to add in two products. I'm going to try this one. This is one I had in my project pan last year and I made decent progress and I do want to finish it this year. This way I'm going to have a little bit more option for bronzer and blush as well. This which is my um, another project pan product. It's my ink liner from Kat Von D. I'm going to say quickly that all of my project pan 10 out of time products, which are the 10 products I am currently actively working on at any time, that is rotated every time I use something up, they're all going to be in here. So if I use up anything from my 10 at a time before next time, for instance the Tarte Mascara, I'm going to substitute in a new one. And I will show you that one when that happens, which is going to be the next one. If I uh, use up any of my Project Pan products, the um, product that I will substitute it in with will end up in the straw. Just so that you are aware, because there might be a product in here that you didn't see um, in this video that will show up in the next one as like a heads up. And that's going to be the thing for every one of my Project um, pan products and in the shop my stash videos. All of my project pan products are going to be in this drawer no matter what. I currently have this one from Arme which is the smart shade butter kiss that I use as my lip balm which is why this isn't in the lip drawer here but this is like the tenth product of my project pan. The rest are somewhere in these drawers. And those are going to be my products for the week. I'll try to put the name of every product in the description box below and I will see you again next week or soon. Bye!